Good morning, Kids Quest. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a great week at school. Happy Sunday. We are ready to have a great time today. Did you guys enjoy those praise songs again? Man, I'm loving those Trusting God songs. Well, today we're going to have our final video on Trusting God, and then next week we're going to start a brand new series. So make sure you tune in um, next week so we can see what we're going to start talking about. Now, you might wonder why I have a Frisbee. I'm going to tell you in just a few minutes. What a beautiful day it is. I love that I'm able to, to reach out um, through technology with you guys, even right here in my front yard. Who would have known, right? But I'm also hoping and praying pretty soon we will still get to meet face to face. I miss seeing you guys face to face. One thing I miss seeing you guys and doing with you guys is when we're all surrounded around those tables in the back of our classroom and we just get to connect face to face and discuss our story and talk about our week. So I can't wait to be able to do that in person with you. But you guys, I want you to know, man, I and all your work and your teachers we are continuing to think of you and pray for you we've been lifting you up with school starting a new school year and we're praying that you learn how to trust God through this school year how many of you guys have ever played with one of these you know what it is frisbee right I used to love frisbees when I was a kid my own kids love these too right but you know one time when I was playing frisbee I was out in our backyard and man I got to where I had a strong arm I could throw these things like crazy and they would go so far and even if I didn't have anyone to play with if my sister wasn't out there or somebody to catch it I would love to go out there and just throw these as far as I could the problem with that sometimes is we can throw these as far as we can and what my happen uh, you guys know right look behind me you see a house you see a roof we know sometimes we can throw these so hard they get stuck on a roof and we would do anything we could possibly do to try and get it down but you know what we couldn't how many of you guys are as tall as your roof where you live none of us are right and so maybe we would try and find something to climb on maybe we'd try to give each other a boost up to try and get it but there were times when we realized man I just need 
help. I need help to get this down. I need to go find dad and ask him to get the ladder and climb up and get it, right? You guys, that is the way that God wants us to trust him. There's things that happen in our life that we need to ask people to help us with. You trust your parents by asking them for help. Maybe you trust your teacher and you ask him or her for help. Maybe it's something as simple as getting that Frisbee stuck on your roof, right? And you go out and you ask mom or dad, I need you to get a chair or a ladder and boost me up so I can get the Frisbee down. Life is that easy with trusting God. He never designed for us to live alone, right? A life where we didn't seek out help from others, right? Even go all the way back to the beginning of time when God created Adam and Eve. He looks at Adam and he says, you know what? It's not good that he's alone. I wanna create someone for him. And God said it was good and it was very good. God wants, does not want us to go through this life thinking we have to figure everything out ourselves thinking that we're not surrounded with people who want to help us and of course God wants to help us the same way that you guys trust your parents your grandparents your teachers your close friends that is the way God wants us to trust him now what happens if we don't trust God we've talked the last two weeks about trusting God but this week let's talk about what might happen if we don't trust God well, we're going to look in the Bible, in the New Testament, of a story that involved Jesus himself. And we're going to see what happened when a man started trusting God and then decided not to trust God. And this story happens um, there in the land of Israel, and they're by the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus is hanging out with some of his best buds, some of the disciples. And they're in a boat, and they've been in that boat after a long day of fishing. And they didn't expect something to happen. And what happened was a great storm came up. Let me show you what a storm at sea looks and sounds like. Okay, and I'll be right back. You know, sometimes when we hear about these storms in the Bible, we might think it's kind of like this, like maybe just a little nice rain shower and we have our raincoat on or our umbrella, right? But man, oh, hold on. It looks like the storm is about to end. I can take this down and, and finish talking to you. Oh yeah, there we go. But man, did you see that clip of a storm at sea? You guys, that is the type of storm that the Bible talks to us about, right? The Bible specifically says the waves were crashing down over the boat, the boats filling with water, the sky had turned black, there were waves and wind and, and lightning and thunder, and the disciples were so scared. They were so scared. And they see this body out on the ocean, right? Out in the sea. And some of them actually thought it was a ghost because who else could be walking on water? And then as that body got closer, they realized it was Jesus. Jesus had been hanging out with them earlier that day and even earlier that evening when they had been fishing, but they had left Jesus on the shore. So they had no clue that it would be him. And so Jesus is out there walking on on the water right and as he gets closer Peter one of his disciples he calls out and he says Lord Jesus if that's you call out to me and I'll get out of this boat that's in this huge right this huge raging ocean of storm and I'll come out to you now notice Peter didn't say if he could do it if he was strong enough, if he trusted in himself, he called out to the Lord and he said, if it's you and I trust in you, call me out and I'll come. So Jesus reaches out his hands, right? And Peter gets out of that boat and he walks on the water. He's looking at Jesus and he's trusting in him and he's believing in him and he's doing the impossible until 
he realizes what he's doing and he gets scared and he gets worried and he trembles and he takes his eyes off of the Lord and he looks down and you know what happened Peter started to sink he could no longer walk on that water in that huge storm that was out at sea but he started to sink and Jesus reaches out and he scoops up Peter and he helps him back into that boat and Jesus gets into that boat with his BFFs his best buds his disciples and he gives them a little lesson right like hey just trust me look to me and trust me trust my ways because I'm sent to you from my Heavenly Father God himself has sent me here to help you don't take your eyes off of me and try and do your own thing put all of your trust all of your faith in me and see Peter did that but as soon as he stopped trusting God he started to sink you guys we don't want to sink in our life do we no so how do we stay afloat well, we keep our eyes on the Lord. We keep our heart and our mind trusting in Him. Even when these things happen around us that we don't understand, that we don't like, that we wish weren't even happening, keep trusting 100%, right? Keep trusting in Jesus. Call out to Him. Just like you call out to your parent to help you get that Frisbee off the roof, just like you call out to that teacher when you need help with your math problem, call out to Jesus because He's willing and He's waiting and He's loving and He wants to help you through your day. You guys, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed these last few weeks of talking about how we can trust in God. I'm going to see you next week with a whole new series of lessons that will kick off next week. I'll see you then. Bye.